Hello Pisces, I hope you are doing well. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. You want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with facing in your life and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on by watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Pisces, for Pisces' highest good, please. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Pisces in their life and how is Pisces currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Pisces in their life? And how is Pisces currently doing on their soulmate journey? Extra message, very important. Mm, you have so many ideas. This is you trying to figure out what's going on with this relationship, where it's really going, heading. You feel like you need a break, like you need a long time to look at everything objectively from a different perspective to make wise decisions moving forward. This person is important to you, though, but you want a relationship that is solid, that is committal, long term. You are ready to communicate, actually, even though you are at times hesitating. You feel like maybe you're not, but you're ready to um, show up with communication. Like you want to express yourself to be understood in this relationship. Yeah, you're still holding on to some kind of hope that there will be reconciliation. Let's see. You're trying to figure out how this person feels towards you at this time, especially. It was to show us what's coming up for Pisces. How is Pisces currently doing? Yeah, you love this person. Yeah, you do. And you're questioning their feelings for you, you see? You want to communicate now. You are eager to communicate. Yeah. Yeah, you feel like something is unfinished, unbalanced, like you, you two need to see each other, communicate together. This is justice. Like something is of importance. Like this is past life connection. Yeah, you want to see this person. You feel a great need to see them. That's the best way to communicate, right? Yeah, to have good understanding of the situation. Oh, boy. <clears throat> so, yeah, being very strong and stoic, trying not to reach out, but you feel that sooner or later you're going to reach out to this person if you don't hear from them. Yeah, you do miss them. You do miss having that relationship. Yeah. This is you trying to uh, learn important lessons and handle this objectively to make important decisions moving forward. You want to learn from any mistakes that were made, but you're kind of stopping yourself. Like, you know you need to reach out to communicate, but you're stopping yourself. Huh. Let me see what's going on here. You know, please show us What's coming up for Pisces and how is Pisces currently doing on their soulmate journey? Yeah, you worried how this is going to play out. This is you. You feel that this is unresolved, like something is missing, like something needs to be addressed. Yeah, this is you trying to imagine your life without them. And then trying to imagine your life with them. You feel that for you to make that final decision, you really need to see them. Yeah, you want to see this person. So they also worried. Yeah, they also worried. This is them feeling a great need to clear the air with you. To, and they feel like they need to reach out. Let me see one more for you. Before we ask about this person, one more for Pisces highest good. Yeah, you've been silent for a while. This is you coming out of that silence and 
needing to communicate. This is you using your wisdom to make wise decisions. So you recognize that the two of you are still very connected in this relationship. Yeah, you do miss them. You do miss this person. You miss their presence. Yeah, because you still love them. You see, there's a lot of love you feel for this person. But at the same time, you recognize that there were serious issues that you two need to tackle to have a better relationship. Yeah, this was a serious relationship, though. Hierophant, uh, you're hoping that this will rebuild itself. Uh, let's see what's going on with that soulmate. The universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Pisces. And how is that soulmate of Pisces towards Pisces at this time, especially emotionally? Wow, this is them feeling sad without you. This is them recognizing how much you mean to them. You see this? This is them searching for some kind of meaning in their life. This is them looking for something new, some kind of new spiritual experience. Yeah, they're very drawn to you, very attracted to you. Yeah, this means apologies. This means peace offerings, explanations. Like they feel they owe you some kind of explanation. Apologies. Yeah, you see, they see things more clearly now because here you see a clay falling off of the eyes where they are able to see more clearly. You see, they maybe before they didn't see it, but once they are away from you, have time to themselves to see more clearly, they see that things... Uh, need uh, their attention. They wish that they could, you know, address it back then, but they didn't see it that clearly. Now they do. Yeah, you are very important to this person. Hierophant showing up again, this time from bigger tarot deck. This stands for solid relationship that is significant. Yeah, you see, this is them feeling like the two of you need to see each other. Beautiful. The best card in the whole deck, the sun. They're trying to figure out if you still care for them emotionally, if you still miss them. Yeah, they know they're going to have to make that decision sooner than later. This is them trying to go within to do some soul searching, to look more objectively. They feel like time is running out fast, like they're going to have to make that decision sooner than later. Huh. Yeah, back and forth communication. That's what they're thinking of. They view you as guarded towards them for some reason, uh, as disappointed in this relationship. Yeah, so it looks like this was a relationship with breakups before getting back together, breakups getting back together. Somehow, this person's past, this person's past relationships uh, somehow affecting this connection with you. Like there's uh, a need that they need to uh, pay attention to something from the past. Like they need to address certain things to heal, to release the past. Very important lessons. Yeah, you see, this is them trying to balance their emotions, trying to figure out what is going on with the two of you? Even though you two are not together, they feel this intense connection. But they see more now that somehow their past relationships are affecting this connection with you. Like they need to address something. Yeah. So that's a good sign that they see it more clearly now. Universe, please show us. That's a very good sign. Yeah. The question is what will happen, right? What will they do about it? to address it. <sighs> My goodness. Yeah, so it's like, even though the two of you are not together right now, it's like there's this energy between you two where you're not moving on with somebody else and they're not moving on either. Like the two of you are still feeling connected. Yeah, you're still feeling connected, lovers. But there is something that needs to be addressed in this relationship for it to move forward, right? Uh, serpent is showing up here. Yeah, 
there's a lot of love between you two still. Ten of Cups. But communication is needed. Yeah. This is them trying to be brave, courageous. Not to give up. Such an important connection between you two. We're going to go into your extended reading, Pisces. Obviously, we're going to ask about this soulmate, but also new soulmates entering your life. First, however, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you. Are they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what they're currently hiding from you, whether purposely or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life including new soulmate entering your life new chapters new beginnings in your life also your health finances business job opportunities family matters friendships whatever it is you need to know they'll show it at the end of the reading as well so pisces click on the extended link below this video in the description box below and i'll see you there love you guys